Hi Pisces. All right. Welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm going to be doing a reading for you. I want to say happy birthday to all of my Pisces. I hope that you guys are having a great season. And yeah, let's talk about what came out in your cards so far. All right. So what do we have here? We have the three of pentacles, king of wands, and we have the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So what I'm seeing from you, Pisces, really stepping into your element. Like, what is your element right now? I feel like for you, you feel more driven and motivated when you're probably doing things from a leadership position with this King of Wands or Queen of Wands for my feminines. And you are surrounded by a group here that kind of you could be feeling very limited in just what you're able to create or do within this group. So I don't know if like at work, you're forced to work with other people and that just kind of slows down, you know, the rate that you're able to accomplish things, or there's just so many opinions around you that are not really fitting um, your drive. You also could be feeling like an energy of being micromanaged in certain aspects of your life where you just really want to grow. You want to grow more. You don't want to be limited. And you also feel like you want to step into your leadership energy. You know, you want to do things on your own. And it's not from a place where you can't take um, opinion or you can't work with others. I feel like you work with other people very well, but there's like this energy of you just feeling very limited by being surrounded by some sort of group, okay? Because people just, I don't know, there's something, there's more that you could create on your own and you're knowing that, but it feels like a lot of people want to put their opinions of what Pisces should do, but people fail to realize this is Pisces, this is Pisces life. So you have this group here and there's nothing wrong with, um, grouping together mindsets or coming together and doing things, you know, in a group or working off of other people. But I feel like you you don't feel like you can be yourself or you don't feel like you can accomplish the things that are important to you or you can't even like show your true talents. You can't really show your true skill. You also maybe feel very dumbed down right now with the people who are around you. Like, I know I could do more, I could create more, I could accomplish more if I didn't have so many opinions, okay? I feel like there's a lot of opinion opinionated people around you of what Pisces should do. And it feels like, okay, but what about for yourself? Like, you know, this is good feedback, but maybe you should be putting it towards yourself. For me, being a Pisces, I am the king of wands or I'm the queen of wands. I just really know what's best for me at this moment. I know what I can accomplish. I know how much I want to grow, but I feel limited by my surroundings, okay? And you also have the eight of pentacles. So you could really be working really hard behind the scenes on something that you feel so confident about and you feel like this could bring you a lot of happiness or fulfillment or even just success, but it's like you're being limited by this group that you're around. So this could be friendship. It also could be at work or in your career. You feel like working maybe, you know, in a group setting is just really holding you back. And you also just really are hating maybe the judgmental people around you. Everybody is casting judgment on you, but not really taking a look in the mirror. Okay. So that's what I'm getting. What's on the bottom of your deck here? Yes, we have the judgment and we also have the five of swords. So it's not really like a supportive group that you're around. It's very micromanaged. It's very much like people casting judgment or their opinions on you. And it feels almost like, you know, when like, um, you know, like sometimes when you're like dealing with someone who may just spew a lot of negativity on your life or just be very opinionated or judgmental on you. And it feels like it stems from within. It's like, okay, this is really, this is less about me as a Pisces. This is more about you and where you feel limited and where you feel like you can't grow. And you're judging me, but you really have maybe some hate or you have disdain for yourself that you are unable to deal with internally. So now I'm becoming the butt of the joke or now I'm becoming 
you know, the person that you want to call out. I'm becoming the person you want to control or micromanage. And that's what it feels like. So I'm, I'm talking to a Pisces who really wants to step into a big leadership position. This may even be at work where you know that you're ready to step into a leadership position, but your, your boss or other people keep giving you their opinions and saying, no, you should just work in this group. You do the best in this group. We need you here, Pisces. We need you here. And it's like, why do you guys need me here? Because at the end of the day, I'm still feeling very alone. I don't feel a community around me. I still feel very alone where I'm still working alone. But every little thing that I'm doing is being micromanaged or being controlled to some aspect or even being judged. And I feel like when you have time by yourself to do things is when you do your best work. And you also feel very how happy and proud of what you're able to accomplish. So I have someone here who's contemplating because whenever you see someone on the ledge, it's always that energy of contemplation. But I don't want to really, I don't really want to make a joke about this because I don't feel like you feel happy about this. I feel like you feel like fishbowl, like a fishbowl, you know? Like if you think about a fish in a fishbowl, it's like, damn, this shit is kind of small. It's small minded. It's a small, it's a small limit for myself. And I know I'm meant to be the big fish or bigger. And it's interesting too, because you are the fish Pisces, which is funny, but you don't want to go around in circles. You're ready for growth. You're ready for expansion, but you have people around you who try to make you think differently than what you've already like downloaded. You know, you could have went to sleep, been refreshed in the morning. You're like, Yes, I, I'm so confident this is where I need to go. Then you clock into work, you're around this group that you're forced to work with, and then they're also condescending. Or your family, you're like, yeah, I know this is my calling in life. I'm so good at it, eight of pentacles. I'm skilled. I'm a master at this. But people keep telling me to dumb down myself and just fit in. And I don't fit in. I don't fit in in this little hole that you're trying to place me in. I'm meant to sprout and be much bigger. Then... On top of that, you know, you also could be um, gaslit. That's what I'm getting. Even if you look at this person, they're like lighting a little lighter here. It's like you're getting gaslit into believing that you are not who you are. You're not as big as who you are. You're not meant to be a leader. You shouldn't trust that you can do something alone. You shouldn't trust in your capability or your, your talent levels. And I know this because we have the judgment here, right? So there's a lot of opinions, but they're coming from a very, like you're becoming like a target or it's very suffocating. And I'm also getting very like mean. It doesn't feel helpful. It doesn't feel like constructive. It doesn't feel like I care about you. So I'm just telling you this. It feels like micromanaging. It feels suffocating and it feels like um, people are projecting onto you. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify this and see what's up. Now, what I love about you and what you're getting into is that you're waking, you're like having an awakening, but it's, it could be spiritual, but it's more so like internally where you're realizing I am the bee's knees. I am um, skilled. I am talented. I'm bigger than this. So you're realizing you're bigger than a group or community, or you're just bigger than maybe like the shell that people keep trying to place you in. And you're trying to acknowledge that and you're trying to feed into that optimism and that confidence that you have, because confidence is a great thing. You know, when you don't have confidence, a lot of things can go downhill, you know, and I feel like you are in a confident place, but people are, keep trying to make you second guess your decisions or even just how capable you are. OK, so we're going to clarify and see what's up. I don't like this for you because Pisces, I do feel like you guys are big creatives and you are able and capable to work in a group. You're not the person who feels like you're bigger than everyone. I'm just bigger than this, um, this dull, like repetitive energy. I can do this in my sleep. I feel like I'm meant to do something bigger that challenges me. And I want to be a leader. I want to step into my leadership. But if you're not going to allow me to explore that avenue, it feels like slave work, right? It, it feels very mundane. It feels boring. And then on top of that, when you do try to step one foot into your leadership position or show that, hey, I'm, I have the talent and the skills to do this or even show your um, individual work, you get casted out or you get like 
down talked and it's not fair. So tell me about this group, this three of pentacles. This could be your work, by the way. This could be your career or whatever you do for work. But this also could be a group that wants you to just stay within the limit of that group. It doesn't feel like a very um, positive like relationship because even if I'm going to be in a group, we should be growing, you know, and you should also give me the freedom to do things alone. Okay. So what's the three of pentacles? I'm also seeing like a pyramid here. So there's like a pyramid and someone's just trying to keep you on a certain level of that pyramid. They don't want to see you grow or elevate, even though you've done the work, even though you're super capable. It's like someone just wants you to believe that you're meant to just always be on a lower grid. What's the three of pentacles here? All right, three of pentacles is the page of swords. So lots of lots of watching all the time. There's always an eye watching you. There's always people watching everything you do. It feels very like a overseer. Like you have overseers at work or you have overseers in your friendships or maybe even in a relationship or even with family. There's always someone watching your every move and just won't allow you to just have freedom to just do you and just vibe out and do you. Okay. You can stay put and you can be patient for your big break, but you also see that it's maybe not even coming unless you just try to step out and, you know, show your skills. I don't know. Hmm. It gives like, um, yeah, 10 of pentacles in reverse. So is this even like worth it at the end? You know, if this is like a friendship group, it's like, are we producing the results long term that's going to lead us to fulfillment financially or even just um, community? Is this a community that I want to be involved in or is it just like a facade? You guys say that you're my friends, but you guys don't really support me or my family, you know, like my family, they say, you know, have those close ties to your family. Your family will always be there. But if my family tries to downplay me in my life and I listen, then I'll just be stuck like everyone else is here. And they all just believe that they need each other to grow. And that's just not really true. Okay. So there's something here that seems like it could be long term or people want you to think long term in this setting. But you don't see that for yourself. You seem so much bigger. You're like, this is not long term for me. Maybe for you, if you already believe that, but I have a different mindset. All right. Yeah, the five of pentacles. You're starting to feel like the outcast. You're starting to feel like you're, you don't belong or you don't fit in, but in a negative way. You know, it's not really supported. It's like your talents or your skills or even the fact that you want more for yourself, better for yourself is not supported by those who say that they do support you. And then on top of that, there's a lot of gossip surrounding you or there's a lot of watching or investigating you. Like there's like detective energy, almost like um, I was going to say like, OK, let me try to keep my thought because I get very distracted easily and I don't want to do that today. Um, I was. First, I'm getting like private in investigator, like people who make it their business to know everything about your life just so that they can judge it, just so that they can go and report it. So someone in this group could be the reporter. Someone could just make it their business to follow you around, to watch what you're doing, and then they go and report it to the rest of the group for um, accolades, right? Like if I say this about Pisces, then I gain trust in the group or I, I gain status in the group, but it's kind of sad because it's like, you're just like, they're using you, you know? But I also was getting like your destiny child's moment. Not, But there's nothing really bad with the destiny child, but it's like, you know, you can stay in a group, but at some, at some point, is that at all that I was supposed to do in my life? Or am I meant to have my Beyonce moment? Am I meant to emerge from this and do more for myself? Do I do better work when I just focus on Pisces, you know? King of Wands. So you do have big leadership energy that's surrounding you. And that's why you're starting to feel very like aggravated or agitated. You, you can't really rest in this energy. You can't be okay with it. You can't be gaslit anymore. You're not feeling, you know, people can tell you one thing and you're, it's going in one ear and out the other because you're a leader. King of Wands. Okay. Nine of Swords. You've been thinking about this quite a bit. It really disturbs your peace. It doesn't make you feel good to be told 
You're supposed to be staying complacent when you know that you're meant for much more in your life, okay? The fool, you want to run alone. You're ready to venture out and see what's out there. You're ready for a new lifestyle or a new way of doing things, and you're comfortable with that. You're comfortable with just leaving with what you have, you know? You're okay with leaving it all behind because you already know that you're meant for more. Let's see what else is here. Five of wands, okay? Whenever you do try to show some part of you just being a free thinker or some part of you just being a leader in your own right, they're always it, there's always some pushback. There's always some controversy. There's always some argument or some drama coming from this. And it just seems very weird because it's like, how is this hurting anyone that I'm very confident or I'm optimistic or I'm a go-getter or I'm motivated or I'm determined? How is that hurting anyone around me? I'm not doing harm on you. I'm not speaking ill of you. I'm just focused on myself, my life, my goals. How is that hurting people? And it feels like people can never be rest rested when you want to venture out or try to exercise being very independent. Now, you are not well rested with this nine of swords because you know that this is just not how you can remain. It's not a long-term situation for you anymore. You now are thinking freely, okay? Two of wands, you want more out of life. You want to see where the grass is greener. You want to go touch the grass. You want to see what else is out there. You're ready to explore a little bit. And it feels like there's always some controversy behind it. Eight of pentacles, there's something that you're getting really, really good at that maybe you're doing in secret, <laughs> which sucks. Like, why do you have to do this in secret? But not that you're doing it in secret. I just don't feel like you feel like it's safe to tell people about the the how talented you're getting, how how up there, how master masterful you're getting at something because you may just not get the support that you you would like. Like your friends may not be supportive, maybe family's not supportive, but you're getting damn good. You're getting really good. This could be like um if you're getting into content creation, Maybe you're getting into market marketing energy, okay? Maybe you're getting into um, a creative mm -hmm. skill that you've always had, but now you're really, really like taking it very seriously. This this is also something that makes you smile or makes you happy. You feel like you could be your authentic self. You don't have to hold back for anyone else's ego. And you're feeling like this is where you'd rather be. You feel like it's going to be a happier transition for you. You want support, but you don't have the support that you would like, and you're okay with that. You just don't want to be limited. Eight of Pentacles. All right, Page of Wands. Super excited about what this is, and you also are seeing some kind of positive retention with it, like whether you do have some supporters that maybe you don't even know, and if people are really liking your content, or if you know you are selling some of the stuff that you're making, and people are really happy about it and telling you how good you are or just the fact that you are seeing how 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 much you have um how much you have improved since the beginning something is getting you very excited here with the page of wands let's see what else also feel like if you are doing something like in secrecy someone is seeing it they actually really like it page of wands and the page of cups but I don't feel like they will tell you to your face and that's a problem, right? Like, damn. What else is here? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you have really good support around you. It could be new people that you don't even know. But I also feel like someone, <laughs> I feel like someone has found like your content or someone is finding like your website or someone's finding like your Facebook, your private Facebook or something or Instagram where you are creating, where you are stepping out on your own and you're doing your own thing. They feel positively about it as well, but they would not say it to your face, okay? But you do have good support coming outside of this group that's letting you know that you're on the right path or just being super supportive because you're really good at what you're doing. It's not like they're just blowing smoke up your butt. They're really like, wow, you know, Pisces is so talented or Pisces is a creative or Pisces is a leader or a boss, you know, that kind of energy. There's someone from your group. Now, I don't think it's this um, reporter because if it was this reporter, they would just be reporting back and just, you know, saying what they say. There's like someone from your group who is keen that you're doing something alone. They really like it. 
but I don't know if they're going to tell you or if they're going to support. I don't know because they are kind of stuck in this group energy. Four of Swords, it makes them reflect. It makes them like kind of reflect or wake up where they're thinking even about their own position in this group. They're like, hmm, you know, I'm kind of bored here too, or I'm, I'm being limited here too. So it's very interesting. I feel like you're inspiring a lot of people. You could be inspiring people at this job or at this um, career at your work. You could be inspiring the family around you, okay? You could also be inspiring new people who are learning about you from your skills or your talents. I feel like you're on a good path, you know? But something is letting you know that this maybe will not be a long-term situation anymore. This career, this job, this group setting, these people who feel they want to say that they're doing right by you, but it feels more like a limited situation. I feel like you're learning. This isn't really for me. I don't think this will be a long-term position for me. I think I'm meant to do something more in leadership. I think I'm meant to be my own boss. I think I'm, I'm meant to start a business. I think I'm meant to become more of a creative and tap into my talents. That's what I'm seeing for you. Okay. All right, so I'm going to get your last words for the situation, and then I'm going to be doing um, extended readings, and then extended, I'm going to talk about March love for you, what's happening in your love life for March, and I will pull some cards before we go so you know how the reading may go. All right, but let's get the last words for Pisces. All right, last words for my Pisces dealing with this situation. Last words for my Pisces dealing with this situation. Anything else? All right, cool. All right, bottom of the deck, we have polygamy. Polygamy just, polygamous or poly just means many. So it's almost like people want you to stay within a group and you cannot advance farther than this group. If you advance farther, you get a lot of hate. If you stay compliant and just move slow at turtle speed, even if you're, you're way more talented, then some of the stuff that you're getting into with this group, it's a problem. So it's like everybody has to stay with one. Everybody has to be aligned in this group. And if you have further growth and they see that, they try to push you back to staying towards a mundane energy, okay? So polygamy is coming out on the bottom. We have, I've been hurt before. Some of this is kind of like transitioning into the love reading I'm about to do for you guys and extended. So keep that in mind. We have you were in my dreams. You guys have been having some dreams lately, some probably some weird ones, but they're like messages telling you about something. June could be a very significant month for you coming up this year. We do have um, Gemini or Cancer energy that could be significant. I'm not letting this go. So these people do not want to let you go. They want you to stay down in this group. Um, locked up. A lot of you guys feel very locked up in this energy. Like they won't let me out. I can't move forward. I can't advance. I, there's no growth, that kind of energy. All right. December could be very significant. We have December Sagittarius or Capricorn. You make me happy. I feel like this is like what you do individually or what you're, what is making you feel super motivated or passionate right now is making you super happy. Childhood trauma. In the trash, okay? So you are just done with something. You don't want to repeat something. You're done. You're like, you know what? That is just trash for me. I'm willing to throw it all away to start new or just be on a new path. I'm willing to do that. I'm not over you, okay? True love, you're my soulmate. Again, this is kind of overlapping into your love reading. We have I'm horny. <laughs> Sexy haircut slash hairstyle. What else do we have here? Under the bed. 
All right, we have player energy. We have traveling soon, okay? And we have Aries energy here, and then we also have fall. So fall season can be very significant for you, all right? All right, let's move on into your love energy. Let's see what's gonna come out for March for love. One thing I did see about my Pisces, you guys are so focused in just creating and having stability and maybe even moving forward in your career or business or just creating stability in your life where you're like, you know, where am I going to be? Where am I going to establish my home? Where, where am I going to ground my feet? That maybe love could be taking a back seat right now. But let's see what's going to be happening in the month of March for you. All right, for love, for my Pisces, what's going down in the month of March for Pisces? What's the overall energy and theme of love for my Pisces in the month of March? Let's see. All right. What do we have here on the bottom? We have the King of Swords, okay? So for my masculines right now, you could be very detached from love, especially coming into um, March. You could just be very detached. If you are a feminine, you could be attracting a masculine, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or someone who maybe is not even looking for love. What's interesting is that I know that when you're not looking for love, that's usually when you find it. When you are looking for love, you pull in a lot of the desperate energy and options and it just is not really sometimes it's not long term so the fact that you that love may be taking a back seat is when you may meet the one we know that too because we have the lovers here so a lot of you guys are going to be meeting the one that the true your soulmate your true love that's who you're going to be meeting or dealing with in march okay the lovers and that's gemini energy as well we also have cancer energy here the chariot mm -hmm. I feel like this love situation or your love life is really helping you to move forward and be successful in other avenues in your life, like career, maybe family, maybe friendships, maybe even with travel and just getting to know yourself even better. I feel like if there's a big catapult from this love situation where maybe you're feeling more motivated or you're feeling really um, guided by this person or that this person's successful in certain areas in their life that they may be teaching you new things with that. We also have the four of pentacles here. So there is a possessive energy coming from you and this person. I don't know, maybe because the love is going to be so good, you guys will get very possessive over each other where it's like, you know, what's mine is mine and what's yours is yours. So stay away. Okay. But there's also energy of maybe having to release some things in your life that's been limiting you, holding you back to be able to open up and in, indulge and enjoy this love connection in a positive way, you know, that there's like no baggage being brought over or there's no like trauma from your past being brought over. So there's a big releasing energy of something that's hard for you to let go, release, that kind of thing. So there's a big resetting in your love life. And I feel like it's a positive one, but I definitely want to see how this plays out for you in your extended. So if you want to see all of that, Definitely follow me to the extended reading. The link will be in the description box down below. Um, if you go into the description box, it'll be the first link there. And I will see you there. All right. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And I will see you guys in the next one um, next week. I love you guys. Have a good one. Bye, Pisces.